here and today I will be showing you how to make amazingly real looking but fake bread. It smells like bread too. Be sure to like, subscribe and share and now let's get on to the video. What you will need is flour, water, salt, a mixing bowl, preferably big compared to my hand, a spoon, a measuring cup, a bowl or a pan, which is optional. Also a tray. First, take four cups of flour. Once you have your four cups of flour in a big bowl, you're gonna take one cup of salt. I would suggest putting the one cup of salt into a different bowl and then adding the water so the salt can dissolve. This is the container I will be putting the salt and water in. Add two cups of water, preferably hot. One, two. Now stir. Stir until the salt is mostly dissolved. Then get your flour and your salt and water and pour it into the big bowl with flour. This is what it should look like. Then mix. Once you have something like this, you can start kneading it with your hands. Look, it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. When you're done kneading, it should look something like this. Soft and squishy. Them into the shape that you want. Mine are going to be baguettes. Make some slits in the bread if you want. Here are my finished fake breads. And put them in the oven and bake them at 300 degrees for one hour. Here are my two fake breads ready to be baked on the tray. Here they are. Now let's wait one hour. For bread, we have 10 more minutes left until our one hour is up. I'm gonna be adding a little olive oil to the sides and the top to make it look more brownish. And then we'll see the ending result. Even though it's fake bread, it smells like real bread. Our Bread is ready. Let's take it out. Here is the final product. This is the bread. It is hard and it smells delicious and it looks so real. I would definitely suggest making this for fun. Also, if you need it for plates or things. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!